Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of the stories we're following. A doctor who served patients at a local hospital facing felony charges accused of taking thousands of nude pictures and videos of unsuspecting women and children. The Oakland County Sheriff says for at least the past six years, 40 year old Dr. Umer Ijaz of Rochester Hills was using hidden cameras at Ascension Genesis Hospital in Grand Blanc Township, Henry Ford Macomb Hospital in Clinton Township, Township and an area swim club recording victims as young as two. Investigators say he also had sexual encounters with several women patients who were either asleep or unconscious. The sheriff adds the doctor was not on staff at either hospital, but he did have privileges at them. He's being held on a $2 million bond. As the city of Flint continues to recover from a cyber attack, the city council is canceling tomorrow night's meeting, blaming it on technological and staffing issues. The city says it's continuing to work with the FBI to fix it. Some critical functions internally have been restored, but the city's billing systems remain offline. Helping young women feel like a princess for free. With school dances coming up, the annual Dream Dress Express event will return to the Greater Midland North Family Center from Thursday, September 5th through the 7th. More than 3,000 formal dresses will be up for grabs. Those interested in attending the dress giveaway must pre-register with the center to make an appointment. To do so, go to the Tuesday hot links section on WNEM.com. Now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Meg, we expect to be pretty chilly as we head through tonight. Temperatures tomorrow morning morning in many parts of mid Michigan will be in the 40s and some of our northwesterly areas as you get closer to Roscommon, Ogama and even into Clare and Gladwin counties may even be in the upper 30s in isolated areas. So a really chilly air mass for tonight, but we warm up pretty significantly uh, compared to our morning lows tomorrow afternoon. I think a lot of us are back in the mid 70s for tomorrow. That still comes with a northerly wind, but that northerly wind should be at least a little bit lighter than it has so far this week. These are your wind gusts. Us. Those are only between about 10 and 20 miles per hour tomorrow. So coming down a little bit from some of the gusts that we've seen the past couple of days. The northerly wind does keep the humidity away and it looks like that will stay away from us through at least Friday. But once we get to the weekend, temperatures will start to warm up and that's when I think you'll see some of those dew points start to come back up as well. We are dry tonight. High pressure influencing our weather. Your hour by hour forecast not terribly exciting. A few fair weather clouds pass through again during the day tomorrow should be a beautiful Wednesday and I would expect more of the same as we head towards Thursday and Friday rainfall forecast for the next seven days. I think we eventually add a shower chance to this weekend if the data remains consistent, but it really hasn't looked overly impressive. And I think if we even see a shower over the next seven days, it probably won't amount to much. So the rainfall forecast here relatively dry through next Tuesday. And even if you see a shower, it might not even be measurable at times through the next seven days as well. Temperature Temperatures will be back in the middle to upper 80s as we head into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday and lots of sun continues through that stretch too. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.